straight from the salsa club and I decided to make the video now because I promised it to everybody I have it finished by the end of the week now I played almost the whole thing together and uh, I'm gonna explain now piece by piece maybe it's gonna come up to two or three videos but you guys know the deal how it works and uh, now we're in HD thank you for all the donations this is one of the things that you guys gave to me and I'm giving back to you because of your donations, I took a big chunk of it and I splurred it into a very good HD camera because I believe you all deserve uh, a thank you for me, for all your donations and your support. God bless and let's get started with the close-ups. Alright. Excuse the shaking. There we go. Now, let's take it nice and easy guys on what we're doing. First, we're going to start on a diagonal view. So we're going to be like this and I'm going to tell you which fingers to place on the chords because it's really going to help out on how to proceed to the next chord progression or melody progression etc. So let's take the pinky first. Don't cheat. Use the pinky even if it's a little bit weak because you're going to use the other fingers that are not going to be pressing part of the chord. So with the pinky you want to go on the third fret on the second string then you want to put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string so you should have like two thirds of the D minor <laughs> that's my way of calling chords because I just know the basic chords and the rest I make up names for them by the way as you notice on the title I decided to call it Tierra Tierra in Spanish it means earth now you guys had some amazing ideas and I really loved the idea of guitar from side the throne because I was wearing that little necklace but you never know from copyrights they might actually just throw down the video just for that and um, the reason I named it Diera it's not only because it feels like very earthy it's because I'm having a new Eleven Dance show presented in a few months and it's going to be called Diera as well it's going to be based on the earth element now that I bothered you with that one, let's go back to our shape. Now we have this <laughs> two thirds of a D minor. And you will go with your right hand on the fourth string, that's the last bass from top to bottom, and pick with your thumb. And then index, middle, big finger. I'll apologize in advance if you hear any noise traffic or whatever in the background it's because I came to my dance school which is has a very good acoustic for this lesson so after you pick you have basically the ring finger available there but we're not going to use it for now but this is the one this is the key we're going to do a hammer on pull off now I'm going to turn the camera for one second for a close up here when you're doing hammer on pull off it's important you don't do the electric version of it now well, okay electric guitarists they also use it like that but flamenco is more famous of using it as a pull off that sound was me pressing with the index on the first string on the first fret my right hand i'm not using it at all and just it produces a sound because i bend downwards and i release 
You don't want to pick the string. That's a very weak third sound on the triplet just by lifting. So you want to push it really off. Be careful with your skin, especially if you use a steel guitar, meaning steel strings. Well, don't lose any part of your finger. Okay, so let's go back to the diagonal view again. And we have that pick downwards and that little triplet. And then with your middle finger, you're going to pick the second string. Then you're going to do the same thing again on the first string. And again, you're going to go on the second string and for the third and last time. But the third time you do the hammer on pull off and you play the second string, you're also going to play the third string with your index. So together it should sound like this. If you feel like playing it twice, four times, two times, one time, it really doesn't matter guys because it's just a small composition that I came up that's going to help you guys with your technique mm -hmm. and some of these kind of different flamenco or classical play. So one last time and then we progress. Mm -hmm. I simply played the bass again, the fourth string counting from down up or the third bass from up down. It's open and then here comes in that ring finger. You're going to place the ring finger on the fifth string counting from down up the fifth string. That's the second bass, the A bass. And you're going to place it on the third fret. So it's a two bass line. And straight away you're going to do the same thing again with your three fingers. Now that's a really tricky one, but it's my way of cutting a shortcut. So after you play the double bass, and you play the second string with your index, third time you're not gonna play the third string like the first time because now I'm gonna turn the guitar over a little bit you see where my pinky is it's right on the third fret on the second string then I'm just gonna flatten it out that's gonna take some part of the skin of the finger and touch the first string on the third fret and that's what I play right there just a shortcut okay if you find another way of playing it that's cool then we're going to play where our ring finger is on the fifth uh, on the fifth string on the third fret we're gonna play that and then play it open by removing all the fingers and quickly grabbing an A minor now you can see what the A minor looks like if some of you all don't know this chord it's quite an easy one it's the same shape as an E major but you move one string more down with all the fingers. So, hear it one time, guys. Now that's quite easy, holding the A minor with the three fingers. exactly what I do in the video but just strum it and take a D minor that's using these three fingers here again you can see how I'm holding it and strum it down now because I have my camera on the charger it's a very good camera but unfortunately is not uh, the best battery life 
Uh, I'm checking out the time here. I've got a different watch right here, so I can see. I want to keep it to 15 minutes. I'm allowed to do more, but because it's high definition, even five minutes of video, it's like about over a gig. And yeah, I could change the quality and stuff, but I don't want I want you guys to have the best right here. So, if you tell me that I'm over explaining, I don't care. <laughs> Here it is, one more time from the beginning and then we go for the second part. string then you lift again then you lift open string open fret the first string and press again and just strum down the D minor now repeat that same first few notes but once you lift up change your finger setting to a C chord and strum it down. Now I play an open E there. Second string on the third fret. Second string on the first fret. Back to a third fret on the second string. This is, if I'm not mistaken, an A sharp. Now, an A sharp, guys, usually I see people using these three fingers the pinky going on the third fret of the second string, the ring finger goes on the third fret again on the third string, and the middle finger goes to the fourth string on the third fret again, and then they bar all the first fret. But for me, I prefer to just do a little back bend of the pinky and use this part from the last joint till the end to bar all those three strings and then do my bar there. And so I can also have sometimes my middle finger giving even more pressure on top of that. See, right there, it gives a lot more pressure so you have a clearer sound. Sometimes I might go with this finger, sometimes I go here, it's clearly up to you, okay? So, these first two parts, to finish off after you strum the A sharp, I go straight away to... This is just a messy sound I like to use, so let's go to the...